Hello, my name is Craig Balbin. I'm a public affairs representative with the Water Authority. What I'm holding in my hands is called an urban water management plan. Water agencies throughout California are required to prepare one and update it every five years. This video will explain what this is and why it's so important to our region. The plan is a foundational document for other Water Authority planning initiatives, from building infrastructure projects to purchasing imported water to adapting to changing water supply conditions. Basically, it provides a framework for managing the region's water needs over the next 25 years. What does the plan say we need to meet future water demands? Well, working with other regional and local agencies, we know that the population and resulting water use of our region will increase. The plan projects that water use will increase by a third over the next two decades. Conservation is definitely one tool that will help offset the increased water use, but it's not the silver bullet. We also need to include a combination of water authority and local water agency investments and projects, such as seawater desalination, surface water, groundwater, and water recycling to meet future needs. How do you know that combination of projects will work? Well, 20 years ago, the Water Authority set out to enhance and diversify its supply, which has made it more reliable. In fact, the region has added more than half a million people and has seen incredible economic growth, yet current water use is at the same level as it was in 1991. So as a result, we're quite confident that this plan will help meet our needs through the year 2035. How is this plan different from previous plans? In this plan, the water use forecasts are lower than previous versions, thanks in part to extraordinary conservation efforts of residents, businesses, and the agricultural community, and state mandates to reduce per capita water consumption by the year 2020. We also have a new section of the plan called Scenario Planning. In it, we identify scenarios for how to adapt in case forces beyond our control affect the availability of one or more of our plant supplies. Are you talking about scenarios like droughts and earthquakes? Yes, but we also have to plan for other things, such as impactful regulatory restrictions on the Bay Delta and the Colorado River. Scenario planning helps to ensure that we can adapt to changes in the future and make decisions that maximize the reliability and safety of our region's water supply. 